we're in a full crisis mode. Dennis Folk and Michelle Helpenstell are longtime corrections officers who say they've had enough. For decades at the King County Jail and at the Justice Center in Kent, officials have filled staffing gaps with mandatory overtime. Some officers routinely told they have to work 16 hours a day. For years, that was a schedule for Dennis, who started his shift on Sunday nights. I would be too tired to commute home. I would sleep in the jail, in a former jail cell, in an inmate bunk, and then get up, eat out of a vending machine, do my shift the next day to do another 16 hour shift and I wouldn't go home till Friday morning. The King County Corrections Guild says for officers, that's causing burnout with 70 unfilled positions right now, as well as health problems, safety risks, and sleep deprivation. After three 16 hour shifts in a row, Michelle driving home from work, fell asleep at the wheel. That's when I realized that I had to sleep at the jail, that uh, that was a choice I had to make because it wasn't safe for me to drive home. The problem has dragged on. 14 years ago, in 2007, the Guild took out this Seattle Times full page ad, appealing to the public for support, saying they were understaffed and forcing officers to work 16 hours a day. In 2009, an arbitrator wrote the practice is unsafe, inefficient, and cruel, but it just got worse. In 2008, county corrections mandated 32,000 hours of overtime. In 2019, that number climbed to 72,000. Your attention is diverted. You know, you're trying to take care of the inmate, trying to keep everybody safe, and it's a safety hazard. So you think this is affecting public safety? Oh, for sure, 100%. Overtime, of course, is on the backs of taxpayers. We found in 2019, King County Corrections OT cost well over $12 million. In 2020, due to COVID and a lot fewer inmates, the cost went down, but still totaled over $9 million. We have an obligation to the citizens of King County to run our jail efficiently. And if it's not being run efficiently and we're being forced to pay overtime to these officers when it could be managed better, it's, it's waste and abuse. It's extremely frustrating. Late this afternoon, I heard back from King County. They say hiring is a priority for them. They're offering hiring incentives of up to $10,000 for people who take a job. And last week, they started moving inmates from the Regional Justice Center in Kent to downtown Seattle. And they say that could help as well with overtime. But the Guild really feels like it's an overall budget issue. Jessica? Susanna, thank you.